Yeah, what's your brother? Can you be about another reaction? We know cats today. We got true carpool horror story animated. Make sure like, subscribe, we should know. And my food just got here, bro. I'm hungry, ago. bro. Got to move reaction first though. Overtime. It was almost 1 a.m. when I finally left work. Damn. And by the way, I live in the Philippines, and at that time of night, there were very few people waiting to ride home. The only available public vehicles were jeepneys and UV Express. We learned about jeepneys and the other uh, UV Express is like a other video. And I always ride on that since there's no direct route of jeepneys to my house. Okay. There was this one UV Express that stopped by our area, and there were only a few passengers inside. There was a man at the back, one woman in the middle, and another man beside the driver. I sat beside the woman in the middle. Regularly, it would only take around 30 minutes before I reached my stop. After about 15 minutes, the man beside the driver and the woman beside me exited at the same time. I was left with the man behind me, who had short black hair and was wearing a plain t-shirt and jeans. Okay. The driver told me that he would not be taking any more passengers since it was already late, and his home was also by my stop. So, he removed the route sign on the windshield. I was browsing my mobile phone when suddenly the guy behind my back asked the driver to stop. At first, I didn't pay any attention to him because the driver should have heard him clearly, but he continued to drive as if he hadn't heard anyone. The guy calmly asked the driver to stop again, saying he was way past his stop. I was pretty annoyed at the driver because he seemed to just ignore the guy. So I told the driver that the guy was asking him to stop while still looking at my phone. Then I noticed that the driver gave me a confused look, and what he told me gave me goosebumps. He told me in a serious and confused voice that I was the only passenger left in the van. What the fuck? And that's why he said that he would not take any more passengers. I looked slowly behind me, and the man was still there. The driver stepped on the gasoline and drove as fast as he could. After a few minutes, we reached the mall near my home and the guy in the back was gone. The driver told me that some of his fellow drivers have also experienced the same thing, that an unknown guy would ask the driver to stop at a nearby abandoned house. I still ride on UV Express. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I avoid riding after midnight. Well, yo, that's crazy. I would never in my life go on that bitch again after seeing that shit, bro. Hey, if you're gonna read your life, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride no problem.